Hey everyone, Creeper here, and today we're talking about how the state of Illinois in the U.S. is trying to outlaw GTA 5. So, I actually stole this video idea from Moderell, and so, please go like his video and subscribe to him. He actually gave me permission to do this video, so I'm not just stealing an idea from a smaller creator, I actually got permission. Poggers. Lawmaker wants to ban violent video games like GTA 5 amid rise in carjackings. The problem with this is the fact that the game has been out for 8 years. I don't think all of a sudden people are going to play it and realize that they're going to want to carjack. This game is literally the second most bought game in the history of video games, so it's going to take a lot to actually ban it completely. Not to mention, to actually carjack in this game, at least for controller players, you press one button. I don't think it's that easy to actually do it in real life, so the honest thing is that it just doesn't make sense. You wouldn't learn stuff like that from GTA 5. Not to mention, there's way worse crimes you could commit inside this game. I've committed mass genocide way more times than I've committed Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so that's definitely enough of bashing this article. Before we've actually read it, let's do it. A lawmaker in Chicago has put forth a new bill that seeks to ban the sale of or rental of violent video games completely. This bill seeks to amend the violent video games law in the state of Illinois' criminal code of 2012 to make it much more extreme. The code currently states that violent video games cannot be sold or rented to, to minors, but the new bill seeks to ban the sale of violent video games to everyone. Additionally, the bill seeks to change the definition of violent video game to the following. A video game that allows the user or player to control a character within a video game that is encouraged to perpetrate human-on-human -human violence in which the player kills or otherwise causes serious physical or psychological harm to another human or an animal. The bill also wants to change the definition of serious physical harm to include psychological harm and child abuse, sexual abuse, animal abuse, domestic violence, violence against women, or motor vehicle theft with a driver or passenger present inside the vehicle when the theft begins. The bill was introduced this week into the 102nd General Assembly by Illinois State Representative Marcus C. Evans, who sounds like an old white guy but actually is a young black guy, a Democrat who represents parts of Chicago and its surrounding suburbs. The bill has been referred to the Illinois General Assembly's Rules Committee, which is made up of three Democrats and two Republicans. A hearing date has not been set for the bill, according to the Illinois General Assembly website. Evans told the Chicago Sun-Times that he is introducing the bill in response to the rise in carjackings in Chicago. The bill would prohibit the sale of some of these games that promote the activities that we're suffering from in our communities, he said. A campaign called Operation Safe Pump, spearheaded by Philippopocist, SSF. You know what, I'm just going to keep that in because I think it adds to the funniness, I don't care. Early Walker was formed in an attempt to prevent carjackings by sending in security professional to places where this might occur. Walker said he reached out to the lawmakers in Chicago after noticing similarities between carjackings and video games and what's happening in the real world. When you compare the two, you see harsh similarities as it relates to the carjackings, Walker told the Times. It's almost as if like the video game is based on real life. Chicago had 218 carjackings in January alone. It's almost as if like we're in a pandemic and people lost their jobs or they're resorting to crime. We'll report back with more details on the bill as it progresses through the state legislative. The ESA has since responded, pointing out there is no established link between violent video games and real violence. This game is literally 18+. plus. I hope that no one over the age of 18 would watch a video game and then say, that he has to go commit a crime now. If you ban violent video games, then you have to also ban violent books and movies and even songs. So when you get rid of one, you gotta get rid of all of them. When you get angry at a video game, it's the same level of anger when your sport team loses most of the time. So literally, we have to ban sports as well. Honestly, I think it might pass simply because both Republicans and Democrats in the US think that violence is caused by video games, at least most of the politicians, not the voters. Yeah, who would have guessed? That was a really stupid law. Oh, well. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. We are now on the road to 2K. 
And please go subscribe to Modern Welland since I stole his video idea for this video. Also guys, please let me know what you guys think about all this GTA being banned in Illinois stuff because honestly I find it so stupid. Like why would you ban a video game? It doesn't actually cause violence because people are smarter than you actually think they are. Yeah, so please subscribe. We are having a 1K special very soon, so please get ready for that. It's actually going to be the next video. And if you have any ideas for a possible video, please consider commenting it in the comments down below, or you can send it to my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. That's really it for now, and once again, guys, thank you so much for 1K. It's such an amazing goal. I never thought I would actually be able to make it this far in my YouTube career. It's such a blessing, guys. That's it for now. Creep her out. Get a life. Become a fin boy. Socialism is when the government does stuff. And it's more socialism the more stuff it does. And if it does a real lot of stuff, it's communism.